What up, VC? Kieran here. I'm trying to get through these finds to show you guys, but I managed to keep accumulating more records, so I'm just going to keep showing. It's going to be a uh, quicker video in the sense that um, I have fewer. I'm going to show fewer records. Try to do some needle drops. You get through them quick, and hopefully it'll be around the 10-minute mark, and then I have more records to show you. For those of you that follow me for the jazz, this is not really jazz pickups. Maybe one or two. But the next video I will make will be more kind of what I'm into, the spiritual jazz and uh, 70s jazz that I've been into recently for the most part. This is some jazzy, some groovy, and a couple hip-hop, soul type stuff. But anyway, let's get into it. Do some needle drops on these. Um, all recent pickups. So, first one is Sacrifice by Mandingo. Um, this is their second record. This is, I think they're out of England. This is a Europe, this is the, the British original pressing. I'm just trying to find, I'll pull it out when I, uh, when I do the needle job on this. So this is from 73 on EMI Records. Um, it's kind of has some funkiness, um, no vocals, some grooviness. I'll give you a couple needle drops to give you an idea. So this is uh, what the other one looks like. This next track I really like, um, Mandingo. Primeval Rhythm of Life, this is not the track I meant. Definitely some tracks better than others. Some I really, really like. Some are okay to me. The one that really stuck out, I believe... Is this one, especially the beginning, but this will be the last one of them. Not this track either. Sounds dope. Uh, what the EMI label looks like on this one. Next up is a jazz, kind of soul jazz, jazz funk. I don't even know what you want to call it. Uh, Charles Eelan Intensity. The next, there's a couple of these I picked up. I picked up three records I brought to a record store I don't go too often. I brought some stuff in for trade. And there's two that I really wanted. And this one, I, didn't, I hadn't quite reached uh, the full amount. That I had for trade, so I threw this in, got them to give it to me basically for half the price they were asking. Anyway, not in great shape, but it was cheap. And this, I mean, has Lee Morgan on one song, which usually does it for me, and also uh, Billy Harper on that same song. Actually, I lied. Lee Morgan is on more than one song. He's on every song, I think. So Lee Morgan and Billy Harper is on one song, which is another dude I really like. Well, you have Dick Griffin on here as well. 
um, on trombone, Hubert Laws, Sonny Morgan on congas, Billy Cobham on drums. So some really dope players. This is on the Green Label Prestige from the early 70s. Um, first track on here is Dope, Happy Cause I'm Going Home. Really funky. The head nodder. And Charles Earlin on organ, of course. Most of you probably know this, but if this is your kind of jazz, it's definitely a good one to check out, not expensive. side you have the track called Morgan which sounds like so yeah there's more than just Lee Morgan on trumpet so who knows if that sounded like Lee but maybe it wasn't you have Virgil Jones, Victor Paz, and John Faddis as well playing trumpets and flugelhorns. Okay. That's enough of Charlie Boy for now, eh, Charles? Maybe we'll listen to you later. Next one was really, really happy to find this. A record I didn't know about at all. I'm not going to make the 10-minute mark here. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go over. Um... An artist I knew about from a record on Flying Dutchman that I have a reissue of. And this one's on Fantasy and it was cheap. I actually didn't pay a thing because of trade, but even without the trade it was cheap. And it seems to be, you know, somewhat rare. Not crazy rare, but go for some money on Discogs. And really happy to find it because I really enjoy the record. record. So this is Esther Marrow, Sister Woman on Fantasy from 73 I want to say, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, and of course... It, doesn't say the year. 73, 74, around then. Anyway, so nothing special about the label or anything, just that fantasy, but this thing is full of dope tracks, um, some breaks. You have pretty uh, Purdy on a bunch of drums. Beautiful voice. Um, so you have different drummers throughout. You have uh, Bernard Purdy, uh, Ralph McDonald also does percussion on here, but then you also have Jimmy Johnson on some tracks and Idris Muhammad on other tracks on drums. He's way up in Tennessee. But just some really, really good soul music. Something I don't find too much of around here, too. Love jazz, but some heart wrenching good soul is something that. I can never have too much of and you don't find it much around here. When I make these videos, I show a lot of jazz and I do love jazz, but I mean, I would buy just as much of this type of stuff if I could find it. Give you guys a taste of a few different tracks here. Fat bass. scattered throughout the record here. I'm not gonna bust my ass to find them because I probably won't be able to, but.
voice, like I said, it's Esther Merrill. If you don't like this soul, um, turn off this video or just skip forward a bit. You always know, alternate between these funkier, the more soulful tracks, more upbeat, lower tempo. Needless to say, like I said, I'm really happy with that find. If any of you have this record, let me know. Um, and if any of you have any recommendations of records like this that are must-haves or your favorites that you think I might not know, let me know because I love discovering um, records like this. And I don't find them often here. I know in the States they're more common. Uh, the other one that I found last year that I showed you guys that I was thrilled about was that Mary Clayton. Whew. I played that for a friend um, the other day who actually works at the, my favorite record store and he was he was like loving it too. So this is Joe Thomas and the Ebony is the Ebony Godfather on I guess it's Toddy Records. I don't even know because um, the O is a peace sign but that's what that label looks like. So this is uh it's all right. I kind of had my eye on it. I picked it up at the record fair actually that from um, the same guy that had the brother Ah, and it's funky, he plays flute. At first I was like, eh, I don't know, but I dig it. <laughs> Definitely a slow, slower song. Chillings and chuchi, chuchi fritos. I know jazz food's not for everyone, but... That's groovy. record if you collect kind of like funky breaks and soul and stuff like that if not you probably don't care about this Joe Thomas guy next one an artist you all know nothing special actually I don't need to needle drop this for you guys Sam Cooke my kind of blues this is an original uh, Canadian RCA pressing my cousin, who I, lives in the States, but I lived with for a while in university, is a Sam Cooke fiend. Don't get me wrong, I love Sam Cooke, but he's kind of a, has a special place in my heart because my cousin is such a fan. And I found this original um, RCA Victor pressing. I think this might even be my sa first Sam Cooke record. Um, you know, I find uh, originals of it. There's so many compilations, but he has some albums I really like. There's um, Live at the Harlem Square Club, which I would definitely love to have and live at the Copa and I like his blues albums he has 
um, I don't even remember what it's called, but uh, there's a blues album I like. Anyway, uh, last two are hip hop finds that I got. Um, actually, I'll show this one first because I'll probably needle drop this one and not the other. So this is uh, the LJ's Liquid Junkie. So if you're into hip hop, you may know this. This is DJ Babu from Dilated Peoples and Beat Junkies fame. Uh, huge fan of Babu and Defari. They make up the Liquid Junkies. And this is one, this was cheap. And it's a record, it's an album that I used to listen to in, uh, I guess, in university. It came out in the early 2000s, I think. And um, on ABB Records. And I I used to dig it. I liked the beats a lot, particularly a few songs. But let's see if I can find any of the ones that I really like. Um, I think it's this one. The rap, I like Defar as a rapper. He's okay, isn't it? but I like his voice. Right. Junkies. And I mean, I live in a world of sin, so I'm a sin as a man. Know that to keep watching my movies, cause the focus is out. I stay doing the music. Stop drinking as much. The truth, I'm a good old cowboy, like to get fucked up. To touch fans in all lands, come back with gifts for the fam and cash in hand. To do it big as I can, big trees, my ties, Hawaiian islands. All I can do is promise you that I'll keep doing it. That's on me and everything. And last one is Cormega, The Realness. This is uh, an original pressing on Legal Hustle Entertainment from 2001, I guess. I think this was right when he got out of jail. Um, not an album I know super well. I definitely like Cormega, though. There's a few albums I like of his. I probably listened to this, but not for a long time. Um, I know some of his more recent ones, actually. But anyway, I picked this up. I don't buy a ton of hip-hop, but I also don't see a ton of hip-hop. Um, and I don't always pick it up when I do. Did I show you guys the Little Brother album that I picked up? I don't remember. I don't even know where it is. It's probably in the other room. I picked up a Little Brother uh, mixtape on vinyl. I'll show it next time, maybe. Anyway, that's it. Take care, guys. I'll be going to make another video soon um, with some spiritual jazz and maybe a feature on a specific artist I've been buying a lot of recently. Take care. Peace. Doing the pull-up. Yeah. Just listen, I talk. Cause niggas talk.